Thomas Hensler, Heidelberg University. Surrogate imaging with computer tomography within the context of big data. Yeah, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So I would like to explain you what we understand with surrogate imaging. And in general, when you look at that slice, radiology is sitting on a massive amount of data that is already acquired, already paid, but not systematically used to its full extent. So we have approximately 4 million CT examinations worldwide, but the information is not sufficiently used. And to give you one example for this, here's a case of uh, renal cancer. And so we ever described that uh, characteristics of that cancer like venous involvement or necrosis, but everybody's naming this in a different way, different language. So, but when you, once you start collecting this data systematically and then collect that from that massive amount of data, you can really end up with very high correlations to genetic data. And this is very important for tumor heterogeneity to do a genotyping, phenotyping correlation with that computer tomographic data. So um, what we are currently doing is um, that we extract the tumor characteristic, the 3D shape, the tumor texture from the CT images. This is our examples of various lung cancers to really correlate them with outcome and uh, clinical decisions based on the histogram analysis of that CT data that we use. We also um, do this uh, in correlations with pathology. This is an example for ex vivo imaging. That's the highest resolution that you currently get from CT imaging to do correlations systematically between radiology and pathology regarding the, uh, the accuracy of that imaging data and to get further involvement and uh, correlations from this imaging data. So what my group actually and I are pretty much interested, what I told you currently is just collecting that current data that we have and correlate this uh, with uh, genetics, with pathology, with clinical outcome. But we even want to use uh, more information and we call that 4D radiomics. 4D radiomics is that we left the area of static imaging. So this is an example of 4D computer tomography where you see that liver metastasis, and we have now the information over the whole time, <clears throat> and uh, that multiplies our information by a factor of 100. So in summary, um, just click forward, please. Um, so forward, forward, a few times. So we have that radiology environment from that desired data. We have the image data itself further, please, till the end. So we have the written reports that we systematically use, and then we would like to link that into clinical outcome, uh, to lab findings, genetic data, and look at this forward and backwards, click to the end, and then relate all these data, one more click, into clinical outcome, treatment, and decision making. Thank you.